we start with Samoa taking on Argentina. Their first semi-final since they won the title in Cape Town pre-Christmas. Argentina has become a regular fi fixture in the last four of these tournaments for Samoa, the likes of Apelo Maliko, Scanlon, Latifia, Nui Lavea, and of course Argentina, Escro, Gonzalez, Moneta, so many strike weapons between each of these teams. I'm Ricky Swanell, and alongside me, two-time Olympian from New England and Great Britain captain, Tom Mitchell. The buzz and energy of a semi-final. How do you see these teams matching up? You can feel it up here, it's surging through the crowd in this stadium and up into the commentary box. Well, I put myself on the chopping block and say, I thought Samoa were the ones this tournament this weekend. I got it wrong last weekend, but they're playing so well. But Gaston Revolt will be trying to stop them. Mornay Ferreira, our referee in charge of this one. And here's Marcos Moneta, the real firepower. Creates something out of nothing for Argentina. Former World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. First semi-final. Argentina against Samoa. And off the boot of Gaston Rivol, the great Argentine player. We are underway. There's a big collision of bodies in the air. And that is really well. Brought down under enormous pressure from Samoa. They get to play first and already scooting away, getting rid of a couple of very soft tackles in defence. Tunatui Tama from the kickoff strikes for Samoa straight away. Oh, it's Tui Tua Tama time again. What a way to start. Absolute melee off the kickoff. Two pods. Plus Ithgro going up there. They tied it up and off he goes. Round Gonzalez through Gaston Revol. Just decided he was going to score a try. No one was going to get in the way of it. Barely, Tama. barely got hands on him. What a start for Samoa. And Tunatui Tama. Conversion is going to be good too. Seven points to nil in the opening minute. Such a threat for them, isn't he? Dangerous runner. Big physical guy, knows how to break tackles. Argentina rocked early. When you're ready, put on the Time on. One of the competitive sides here, but their first cup semi in six tourneys. They went all right the last time out, though, didn't they? Ended up winning the tournament overall. Moneta bangs that back, and it'll be there for Revolt. <coughs> It's awkward for Manita. Uh, it's that little almost trademark dart down a blind sound. Now here's the powerhouse. He's grow up through the middle. So hard to put down. Gets up and goes again. Argentina getting into their work now. Cleverly batted on for Gonzalez. And now Argentina pouring forward. Gonzalez, speaking of powerhouses, <laughs> barrel his way through a couple and earning a penalty. Well, I thought he'd isolated himself. I thought perhaps there were two guys outside him. I mean, you'd never... So knock back Gonzalez to make the contact area a win for him, but I thought we could have shifted it. And as it is, Samoa infringing. Melandini. Yeah, very slick. Great awareness. That defender's almost coming from behind him, but he just feels him, flicks it on. Just need to note that. Argentina's captain, Matias Osatsuk, starting on the bench. He took a knock in the quarter-final as Palandini goes into some big contact. And now shifting across Moneta. He doesn't need a lot of room, nor a second invitation. Comes back for Rival. Now Herman Schultz. One of these tireless workhorses in the Argentina line. And uh, yeah, brilliant work. Apelo Maliko got hands on that one to earn the ball back for Samoa. They get on with things, but all oh, the stitch-up pass, big shot coming in. Revolves hacked this ahead, and it'll be advantage over, is it, for the knock-on. Palandini has stayed down after that heavy contact. There's some big shots coming in in the opening couple of minutes. Well, he's all over the place. Eventually, it's Nui Lavea 
who goes to ground. Samoa working from deep inside their own 22, looking for this big, big wide ball. Gonzalez awake to the threat at the moment of Valvasa Afasua. Argentina just cutting off the options for Samoa at the moment as now Palandini, who's picked himself up and tries to put a shot on two. Revol's going to be the one coming across. He's not going to get close to Tui Tama, who just had a brief thought of, do I go? Yes. Can't get past the escrow, though, and oh. nor can they collect on the way through. It would have been spectacular not to be. And Palanzini comes back to tidy up for Argentina, who now oh. they could. Oh, I was going to say bust out. Afasua had picked the pocket, but they were playing under advantage. Oh, look out there on the field. Afasua still looks fresh, but can't say that for the rest of the boys out there. What a passage of play. Yeah. Tuatama throws a bit of a loose one out the back. Led to fear, couldn't gather, couldn't scoop it. And then Argentina had the opportunity to go in broken field. Interesting to see if that had gone to hand for Gonzalez. What would have happened? Great bit of defense there in the middle of that passage from Ithgro. 1v1 against Tuatama. Used the touchline brilliantly. Crouch! Feed the scrum for Argentina. It's set. Very little between these teams, as you would expect, of such high quality sides in a semi final. Here's Hermann Schultz just clinging on to that ball and carving off a few extra meters. Ethgro working with Revol down low. The hands right out in front. The ball is good from Feta Fouled, and there's a clever little flick from Esco for Mineta gets rid of one, and this might be where her accelerate chip kick over the top. You can see it coming. Regather Marcus Mineta tackle just made by Maliko. Had to be made. Still there for Argentina. And now Gonzalez. He's got Schultz with him. Won't need him. And Luciano <laughs> Gonzalez strikes of a brilliant bit of work from Marcus Mineta. That is Argentina at their best. All their superstars showing what they're about. Ithgro, first up, the little flick out the back. Mineta running him away back round to space. Sees the 1v1, takes the chip on, regathers. Launches it, a bit of a Hail Mary. But then the hands to get it out to Gonzalez. And what a man to get it to. Some level of skill. The Argentine blondes having more fun. <laughs> They'll also probably find that it's really expensive too, but enjoy it while you can. So they can't quite even it up. 7-5. You're putting yourself in that category as well, Ricky. You having fun? Always having fun. Argentine fans. <laughs> and how badly these Argentinian players would love to kiss the trophy. In front. Today. They've made it. Mistake on this kickoff though. Player in front of the kicker. That's a coach killer, those kind of ones. I was still too excited from the try to watch. And maybe they were too. You're absolutely right, they've got to find your discipline in these games. As much as it's about the fight and the, the scrap and the effort. So much of it's about accuracy. Key moment now, less than 30 seconds to go. When the scores are this close, sometimes a score before the half. Really influential. Big scrum here Six. on halfway for Samoa. And away they scoot with Scanlon. Ducks under one tackle. Gonzalez tracking across now. It's Samoa's turn to kick ahead. Gonzalez should be able to get back there in time. Oh, there's a pillow Maliko. Bore down on him. Moneta now as Argentina look to break away, shape to kick, instead gives the ball for Escro, who gets rid of one, keeps it in play, just has gone back in Samoan hands though. It's Leitufia who tidies up. Argentina are going to be really stretched here. Gonzalez is going to be the one sweeping across New Lavea. Blue shirts coming everywhere, and Samoa are the ones to score. After the halftime, Huda banging it down. Falanico with the prize at the end of it all. What about this? Scanlon going up against the bigger man. Ithgro staying in, but throwing the loose one. Eventually found its way to Nua Valera. I thought, what a 1v1 we've got here, him and Gonzalez. But he didn't need to take him on in the end. 
Falanico tracking that support line massive in the game sevens. Stamps it down. Really glad that went emphatically into the turf. <coughs> that try scoring and it puts Samoa in front at halftime in the semi-final. They lead Argentina 14-5. the throes of one brilliant semi-final and we've got another to come here in Singapore New Zealand taking on Fiji at the moment though it is Samoa leading Argentina 14-5 Samoa scoring just before half time to get this little handy buffer and as the second half gets underway we can go straight down and have a chat to Argentina's coach Santiago Gomez Corta Santi thanks for your time as always what was the message to your team at half time uh, hello, it's a pleasure to talk with you. The message is try to keep the, uh, the position and try to be calm. Don't, don't start to move the ball without any sense. So the idea is try to keep the position and see what's happening who you want to find a space. Hey Santi, it's Tom Mitchell. How do you feel in these big games? Do you feel calm? Yes, uh, this, I, I, it's more hard for me the qualification. The pool are always very tough and here is, is see what's happening and always we want to be better every game, but the, the, the first day, the qualification is more hard than this one. Now, these are always the fun ones. Usually when we have you on the mic, Santi, there might be a try, but we'll let you go on this one as you're going to get a penalty <laughs> anyway. Thanks again. Thank you very much, and I hope we, we can score right now in less than, than uh, two, two minutes. That'll be nice for you, I'm sure. Thank you. Well, it's so great to get to chat to Santi in such a tense situation. I guess it's a thing too, like you've done the hard work on day one and kind of kind of enjoy it, could you? I don't know. Well, there's got to be a little bit of it at this stage for him that he knows his team is there thereabouts. And you know, I think they'll be pleased where they are on the standings. Yes, they want to keep pushing on, but they set out this season. Gaston Revol was telling me that they were already thinking they're going to have to qualify for the Olympics through South America. So the fact that it's looking like they're going to get auto qualification this year, not confirmed yet, work to do, but oh, they'll be pleased with that. I tell you, when we were in Dubai watching the Football World Cup and these Argentine guys every night would be down with us riding every moment of Argentina. I think they would have been happy with a Football World Cup win, let alone the effort they're going to here. They've lost control of that one. The message from Brian Lee Maher at halftime. Thank you to our translator, Ruby Tui. Aluso, which is hard and direct from Samoa, which is kind of their way. Yeah, that's what I thought you said as well. <laughs> Penalty the other way here, though, so quick tap for Argentina. Lovely ball floated over the top, and Eastgrove, with all the calm and patience, puts it down for an important strike. Although they're going to check. Checking for you now, Morning. Well, we've seen a few recent games on second look, haven't counted. This one looks pretty all right to me. Morning, have a decision. You may award the try. <laughs> try will be awarded. Hit back try from Rodrigo Ifko. How good has this man been all season? It's a good score under pressure. What a pass. Pelendini, as he gets hit, gets rid of that ball, the miss pass. 
Here it comes. Boom. Over the top. Malika can't get there. Big score in the context of this game. Conversion's no good anyway. I think it timed out regardless of it. 14-10. Samuel Lini, no, he got it. Did he? Did he get that kick? Well, it did. went over. Hit the crossbar and skidded over. That will count. 14-12. There's a bit going on here, and speaking of going on, way goes Va Apelu Maliko. Moneta chasing, race to the line between the two flyers, and it's Apelu Maliko. What an athlete this guy is. What a rugby player. What a quality exponent of the game of Rugby Sevens. Just takes off. Skips out of that diving tackle, the first attempt. So strong. And Mineta does his best, but he can't get there. And he gets the look. Whoa. That's kind of like, I feel like that's from one try scorer to another. Apelo Maliko in the face of Marcos Mineta and putting Samoa 19-12 and there he is, 36 tries for the season. Moneta not too far behind him on 32. Maybe a little bit of that contest coming out onto the field. Over to you, Marcos. Nineteen plays twelve now. Argentina have had to hit back a couple of times. Samoa really have been the dominant team, but Argentina have won all of their semi-finals so far this season. It's off the back of work by a couple of these guys. This group. Moneta going to throw a big wide ball here. It was really risky. And it's scooped up by Pauletti Slater. It was such an ambitious pass from Argentina. And it gives more ball to Samoa. Oh, near Levere, though, running out of room here. Bit of a wasted chance for Samoa. He's been good, Nua Levere, but getting it wrong there. <laughs> Come off. It's nail biting stuff here in Singapore. Little mates looking tense. This team have got the lead at the moment. Pelo Malikos feeling himself. You can just see after that score, he's trying to create stuff for his team. I've got to say, I don't know how kindly I would have taken it if I was chasing back and someone done that to me. <laughs> but what, am, what would I have done, to be honest? <laughs> Probably just store it in the memory banks, I'm sure. Giving him a stern, stern talking to. <laughs> Sternly worded. Someone. T intimidating stare down. Palandini, important throw for Argentina. Got to get back into this. They have to be the next to strike. If they are to go through to another cup final. There is Palandini on the wraparound. Again, just big collision. Battle of wills in the middle. Argentina down on numbers, so some guys putting in some very big shifts in this match. And now looking to create a little bit of space. Her way through for Elisalde. Shifts away for Santi Alvarez. And now Palandini again. Here's Gonzalez trying to steam away. Slap, slap, slap. It's Uitama holding him at bay. Still holding him at bay. Still going, Gonzalez. Eventually dumped to the ground on the five metre line. Oh. Samoa pour in. Massive contact. And the penalty will go oh, Samoa's way. Off his feet playing the ball. Number three. That's big. It's a big moment in this game. So close. Three, Gonzalez, unstoppable. What a tussle with Tuatama. Get these two going at it. Get off, get off. And look at this. Coming up. Takes a couple of them out. Time off. Number eight. Oh, no. The agony. So these close. kids are riding every moment this weekend. 19-12, Samoa lead, Argentina need a big play ticking into about the final minute. 
Or is it Samoa on their way to the cup final for the first time since December? You're seeing that wide shot, Schultz very slowly coming off, kind of sums up the effort these boys have put in. Samoa secure position from the line out. Upetai does well, and they get a penalty too. So soak up a little time here, and they're going to kick for the corner. Santi Alvarez infringing there. He's had a tough weekend. He broke his nose, I think, this week after breaking it last week in Hong Kong. Got a couple of black eyes to show for his time. Nervous moments for these boys. They know that they can win these tight moments, but they haven't got the ball here. And what a star of the game he was and what a fabulous coach he is. Looking nervous and tense at the moment. Telling them to compete at this line out. Oh, they're going to get ball here. Not straight from the line out throw. So Argentina will need to go 65 odd meters and a converted try. And they are a team that can do it. Last shot saloon for the boys from Argentina. Who's going to step up? Superstars across the park. It only needs one. Marcos Manita is on the bench. Find. Luciano Gonzalez is standing out here wide on the right. Set. Final play for Argentina to try and send us to extra time, perhaps. A little bit of footwork, and now Rodrigo Isco, he's another game breaker. Floating a lovely ball, or oh, just the bounce for Gonzalez. Had to hold it up, shots coming on. Keeping the ball alive, though, Argentina Palandini this time. They not making any ground as Samoa pile and desperate to get their hands on the ball, can't do so. Escrow again will come back into the traffic, get rid of a couple. Has he got himself a little isolated there? No, ball <gasps> spills back again for Santiago Vetterfeld. And now some space coming down this left side, stopped in his tracks. Luciano. They've carved off metres here, Argentina, oh, pressing. Oh. For a try, they're on, says Tom Mitchell, Luciano Gonzalez. He's got Alvarez with him. Santi Alvarez has to come back and field up the middle. And now it's Escro, Escro for the line. Escro, is he over? No, not quite. Is it there this time, Elizalde? <laughs> He's claiming it. It's a stretch out. The post, the ball, the bodies, everything in the way. Coming to you. Try or no try, please. What have we got here? Stand by, Mornay. Try or no try. Oh! Ball on the line in front of the posts. There's paint on that ball. <laughs> Hopatai trying to stop it. Getting Morning, everything have a decision. Behind. You may award the try. Try given. <laughs> what an effort from Thomas Elisalde, and now a conversion in front to send us into extra time in the semi-final. Let's play on. <laughs> Nineteen all. Argentina and Samoa at the end of regulation time in the first semi-final. Samoa have won the toss. They have chosen to receive. Argentina will get the kickoff. What's the what? What, what do you reckon? Is, is there a better option? Oh, you go with whatever the trend's been over the tournament. Probably, I think I'm normally up to kick off. Let's see what Santi's saying. What about the leaders in this group? Like? Rodri, 
más importante es lo que viene después. Tanto si nos tenemos o no. ¿Eh? Tratamos de jugar mucho su territorio. Mucho su territorio y con control. Se van a equivocar eso. Sí. Paciencia, ataque o defensa, lo que sea, tranquilo. ¿Eh? Al palo, pero tranquilo. He calls himself the grandfather of the team, and if ever you wanted a calming influence, it was it right there, Gaston Revolt. What a bit of wisdom from the older statesman. Samoa's extra time form is good, and won all three, including against Argentina just last week. Yeah. It's golden point, first score wins. These are the moments in your career that you savour. They're nerve-wracking. They're anxiety-producing. They're brilliant. Tensions all around the ground. Mineta's back on, so he was on the bench for that last passage of play. Fresh legs, here we go, extra time. First score wins, Argentina and Samoa. And it's, oh, sure, going to go out on the full. So a mistake on the kick from Argentina will give Samoa right attacking possession. Possession huge in extra time. Strong, Strong option. So much of these, oh, oh. Iskra, look at that. In the end, it's in vain, but what athleticism. Great hops from the big man. About everyone doing their job now. So I want to put their hand up eventually, but everyone's got to do their job. Find. Samoa feeds Six. the scrum on halfway into extra time in the semi-final place. In the final at stake away comes Samoa. And they're vibrant blue getting rid of one Owen Newe and then handing the ball back to Moneta. Chance here now for Argentina. Ball bobbling all over the shop. Yep. Alan Dini, who's going to scoop it up? Anyone? Oh. Nobody. Who wants it? First knock on is going to go against Samoa. So it'll be Argentina's feet to the scrum. Oh, much happening in this extra time. Oh, it's a bit of this and that. Nobody wants it normally. So much emphasis on holding on to the ball in extra time. Well, I guess there's that urge to, for the one big play, right, to win it, get it done. Well, the fatigue do plays in as well. It's huge at this stage. These guys have played so much Six. rugby at an intense level. Mineta feeds the scrum and he's going to race away himself with a little bit of footwork. Mineta well wrapped up, though. Samoa, Pauletti Slater really awake to that threat. Escro just still going where he gets the latest amount of energy from. He continues on. Rassiano, and then they float a ball nice and wide for Mineta. Gonzalez gets himself out of the way. Samoa swarming in, and now a little bit of space up the middle, cutting a track. Our Argentina flying up on the outside, Palandini. Here's Escro, ball back in field. Argentina keeping it alive superbly. Rodrigo Escro trying to get the arms lead. Throws a miracle ball. Everyone's on the deck. They've given it their all. And especially this guy. He knew it. And he knows his way to the line. Money Marcos Manetta does it for his team. Takes him through to the big dance. Yes, Santiago Gomez caught it. Has seen his team through to another semi. Final, another final, excuse me. He had the tongue in the face, but it's Marcos Moneta who gets the final say in a fabulous, fabulous semi-final. Escro Gonzalez, he deserves all the love. 
extra time, it's Argentina going through 24-19.